yeah. where do you start so before guys start googling searching best podcast microphone of 2020 <laughs> or 2021 i think it's just good to start where you are and what i mean by start where you are is sometimes people think they need the best equipment the best um sound boots or whatever it is to be able to start your podcast and i think it's the same for you two people wait to get the best cameras and yet you can start with your phone so i personally am a proponent of start where you are so i actually because of covid pandemic <laughs> i was not here where we are <laughs> um i use my phone so what i do is i sit in the car and sometimes if it's not in the car I literally cover myself over a blanket and it also taught me to in my journalism days when we would record <laughs> on site um, cover myself with a blanket because it gives that acoustic feel mm -hmm. and record when it's not noisy so maybe like late in the night or early in the morning mm -hmm. and press record listen and you realize by the way the sound is not so bad mm -hmm. um, but if you have access uh, there are people who have friends who are maybe music producers mm -hmm. Or you can um, hire out studios. Um, so, for example, where we are at, um, I'm just privileged at least where I work, they have a studio, so they allowed me to use it. Mm -hmm. But I know these studios, like I think Baraza Media Lab, mm -hmm. that have hourly rates for mm -hmm. people to record. Mm -hmm. So, if you have the money and you're able to do that, take advantage. There are different editing platforms. Audacity is free to download and also it's free to use. So it's a great tool to edit. I personally use Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, no, Adobe Audition, sorry. If, if you don't know how to edit, if you don't know how to do all these things, YouTube is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> to be very honest, it is. And um, I think because I knew how to learn, I knew how to edit video before. Mm. I audio was not as difficult mm -hmm. so if you still try to figure out you can either pay somebody to do that for you or if you want to do it yourself just go on youtube there's so many tutorials mm -hmm. yeah that you can learn yeah you now have this final this is like your episode one mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're like yeah i have my final episode now you need to place it somewhere um for people to listen mm -hmm. so i personally use anchor there's something called Anchor, which is a free podcast platform mm -hmm. um, where you can just sign up and upload your podcast. And the good thing with Anchor is it distributes it to other uh, podcast platforms. Mm -hmm. And then now from there, now of course, you don't just go live and people will get it popped up <laughs> on their feed. You have to do the work mm -hmm. of marketing mm -hmm. your podcast. So social media is your easiest bet. So you can either decide to open uh for like for me personally i have social media handles specific for my podcast mm. and then i have my personal handle so you decide do you want to open your own social media handles for the podcast or do you want to use your uh personal handles mm -hmm. and especially if you're a brand in itself mm -hmm. it's easier that way mm -hmm. so <laughs> i think so i personally i started ambitiously and decided uh, weekly and then at some point it got tiring <laughs> um, but I think another thing that now when you've started to produce your podcast is what you need to do is do a plan um, and it doesn't have to be elaborate just an excel sheet that just says these are the topics I want to deal with or these are the guests I want to feature and then start to schedule it um, you really have to plan your content so personally I plan like a month's content mm -hmm. and I reach out if there's anything um, if it's anybody that I need to reach out to I need to reach out to them a month in advance mm -hmm. I really wanted to tackle um, issues regarding women but from a Christian perspective mm -hmm. um, so I was like I want to start a Christian podcast that is targeted at women um, and basically hearing stories of hope and all that. So that was my core thing. And so I think the challenge was, at, my greatest challenge was imposter syndrome. Like what, what am I here to tell people? Even if I'm interviewing somebody with their story, like why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> like who are you mm -hmm. to tell us? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And then I think number two, my, uh, my greatest challenge was also um, perfectionism or is it being consistent mm -hmm. and living up to this I have to yeah people expecting something in my head mm -hmm. I think people are expecting but people are moving on with their lives mm -hmm. um, so that perfectionism of is this perfect is this whatever 
um, as I plan my podcast. But I think with time that faded off and I was able to just to share people's stories. Mm -hmm. But I think the third one um, was being able to give myself grace that if I don't, if I've reached a creative block or mm -hmm. a production block, <laughs> if I were to say, it's fine and mm -hmm. it's okay that I need to rest. Alonde Lands is a video series that goes behind the scenes with creators, movers and shakers to learn how they create their products and services. The videos tell the authentic stories of how these creators have been able to turn their passions into a lifestyle and a living. Are you or do you know someone who should be featured in the show? Drop me a line or tweet me through my contacts below. Oh yes, oh yes, please subscribe, share and tell your friends about this series. Thank you.